Hello, my name is Michael King. I'm the technology specialist with the Tribal Air Monitoring Support Center and I want to show you how to perform a mass flow verification or calibration on mass flow controllers within an API T700 gas calibration system. Uh, before we begin, there's a couple things we're going to need. Um, first of all, I have with me um, an external flow meter. I have the Defender 530 plus the calibration system, gas calibration system that we have here um, is equipped with a low flow MFC and a high flow MFC. The low flow runs from a range from 0 to 100 uh, standard cubic centimeters per minute um, and the high flow uh, operates on a range from 0 to 10 uh, liters per minute. I have a flexible uh, a non-toxic PVC flexible tubing. Um, it's a quarter inch outer diameter so I put on these um, quarter inch wage locks and ferrules onto the end so I can connect from the flow, external flow meter to the mass flow controller within the calibration unit. One of the mass flow controllers is actually has a a port that is a one eighth inch that takes a one eighth inch wage lock connection. So I had to use a reducer to reduce um, my quarter inch connection on the flow meter to the one eighth connection onto the port on the mass flow controller within the calibration unit. Also, um, it's good to have a crescent wrench. Um, another tool is the crescent wrench. Another way to connect to your flow controller, um, these defenders come with a quarter inch connection that reduces down to a, a nozzle, a ribbon nozzle. Uh, which you can use surgical tubing to and connect from there and it reduce down to your quarter inch swage lock Teflon. The nozzle connection has these rivets on there as you can see um, that allows for surgical tubing to go over the top for a pretty snug connection. That's another option of connecting your flow controller. Um, prior to performing uh, any mass flow controller calibration, it's good to make sure your external flow meter is properly charged. Um, these flow controllers um, operate in a range from 0 to 100 standard cubic centimeters per minute and the other one operates on 0 to 10 liters uh, per minute. So these flow meters um, observe flow within those ranges as well. Uh, we want to make sure that they're properly uh, charged before we use them to make any verification of calibrations on the mass flow controller. Um, they basically plug into a 120 outlet and here is the power port connection and I typically have these in the off position while I'm while I'm charging but a full charge will indicate um, will be indicated at the lower right corner with a battery icon uh, a fully shaded battery icon indicates that the flow meter is fully charged. 